Kelly Bacon. I'm Steve Okers. I'm Sue Pasteur. And this is What's in the Cup. Cheers. 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 We're coming to you from the JDAC at the JW. JDAC, JW, this love it. This is awesome. Yes. First day of Art Prize 9. Yes. Amazing. The art is amazing. I've yeah, already yes. like snapped some pics. Uh, it's it's cool. Yes. Amazing and I've only city. seen like five things. Downtown was crazy busy early yep. in the morning. Yep. Just awesome. Grand Rapids is cool. Yep. Yeah. We're continuing our conversation about the book, The Purple Cow. Actually, yeah, that's how you open them. <laughs> Steve wore purple tie. I wore, yeah, yeah I, I did wear the, I do I like purple. Totally I totally like bummed all of that, but yeah. anyways. Someone didn't get the memo. <laughs> well, there wasn't a memo. Well, there wasn't a memo, <laughs> but let me tell you what, JW got the memo. JW yeah. got the memo. Our next segment on this, we're talking about knit being, having a niche and yeah. using personalization. And boy, did we get an example this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah. So they, JW watched our show knowing we were coming and knew we needed white mugs and they wanted us to talk about art prize. Yes. And art prize is on the mugs. Right. Right. Um, what else? I mean, I mean, it's it, so, yeah, I mean, the idea um, in the book, right, is sort of the idea of niching our personalization, right? Yes. How to how to be unique and remarkable within being personal, right? Um, and uh, so you don't always have to have a new idea or something great. No. Uh, we met the general manager that came out and, and uh, we, we said, uh, just impressive, right? We said yes. to him and he said, that is our brand, which I didn't, like, I, I'm full of it now. I'm, I'm all in, right, with the brand kind of an idea. But, but the idea for them of having the 616 restaurant, the Mixology bar, which might have something to do with our cups, um, the, 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 the differentiator for them is that they took the time to, to meet us in a personal yes. way. Um, they could have just said, yeah, you can use our facilities. We're great to have you. Here you go. Yes. And, and pointed in a direction. They met us here. They valeted our cars. Um, yeah. You know, it's just. We feel a, cool. Yes. I mean, who we yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I get around to like yeah. the purple cow. So what they talk about is personalization how that personalization in whatever industry it's in makes you feel important. So in um, our office, Mara, shout out to Mara Hayes, who's amazing. She writes everyone's name down on a chalkboard who's coming in. Mm -hmm. um, having specific things, how can you and your business personalize something? Are all of your listing uh, appointments, do they all look the same? Yeah. Are all of the packets the same? Are all of your closing gifts the same? What if you know that somebody's really into soccer, someone's into boating? that your closing gift goes along with what their needs are, what their life is like, as opposed to pre-buying 20 closing gifts that are all the same. Um, how do you personalize that? How does it make you feel? So what we've been talking about is how we felt when we arrived and they noticed us um, and they, they made things just the way that we needed it to be. Um, so it doesn't always, like you said, have to be some great big new yeah. idea. Just personalizing what you have within your industry is is huge. And he talks about people who will spend um, a lot of money to have something that's exclusive or niche. We don't market to every single person. Every single person isn't necessarily a fit for me or you or you or each of you. Right. So who are the people that you connect with authentically the most? How do you connect with them? Um, find that niche, personalize it, and your, your growth will happen um, organically. Yeah, I think um, in our industry right now, and especially on my side of the business of real estate agents, teams are the thing, right? Or, yeah. or a lot of conversations are, are, are happening around teams. And the idea of teams is a system and a process that then can maximize the opportunity for the greater good of everyone, right? Um, but I think a lot of time in teams, I had this in my team at one point and had a couple of people criticize and point it out to me, is you get so defined in systems and process, you forget that each person's a person. It's just a, a system or a process. Yeah. Right, and so as you're creating teams or creating environments or creating systems, which we're all told to do in our industries, to sort of have a good flow and good checklist, remember the humanness of yes. the human that you're interacting with, right? Yes. Like that probably is a weird way to say no. it, and but it, but it's humanize. so true, right? You like, mentioned it a gazillion times: listening and empathy, and you can use that to personalize right. anything. Right, right. You know, so being be remarkable helpful. does yeah. not always mean you have to have something new and innovative or, or different or whatever. Sometimes it just means that you're willing to stop for a moment yeah. and be remarkable to another human being, right? Yes. To, to 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 speak into their lives, to deal with whatever it is at that, that moment. Um, but also be willing to say this isn't for me or it is for me, right? Yeah. Um, kind of a thing. Yep. So 
Uh, I think that wraps up this because this has been a good one. Thank you so much for Thank hanging so out with much. us. Yes. We love you guys. And please interact with us. Give us your comments or thoughts of how you might personalize your business um, to be remarkable. And we'd love you to follow and connect with us on Facebook, which is where we hang most of the time. Yep, yes. And let's read the J-Dub. See ya. Thanks. Out. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.